Here we're going to do some of the electrical wiring. So open up bag number 10, which has various cables and spiral wrap inside it. There's three different lengths of spiral wrap, which I'll refer to as short, medium and long. There are two motor cables. That's the cables with the red, yellow, grey, green kit wires. There's a short and a long version of them. And there's a servo extension cable, which has black, red and white cables. So, first of all, take the pen slide assembly and connect the servo extension cable to the end of the servo lead. Get a close-up of that. Now we need to wrap the spiral wrap around this entire length of cable all the way back to the connector. The spiral wrap works just by twisting the black wrap around the cable. It's a little time consuming to do. When you come to the connector just keep on wrapping and the spiral wrap will expand to go over the oil connector. There we go. So that's the servo lead fully wrapped. Next we take the shorter of the two motor cables. This is the X motor cable and the medium length of spiral wrap and we put it around the cable. That's the X motor cable done. And we now do the same with the Y motor cable, that's the longer of the two cables and we use the long piece of spiral wrap. And that's the Y motor cable finished. The short piece of spiral wrap, keep that side for just now. That's going to be used later. So get the base back over. And we're now going to connect these cables to the iBot board. For this you'll need the small 2.4mm cross headed screwdriver or another suitable small electrician screwdriver. First we'll connect the Y motor cable, that's the longer of the two. So pass the wires underneath the left hand X support and pull through a little bit of the spiral wrap. Starting at the extreme left of the terminal block, we're going to connect first the yellow lead, then the green, then grey, and finally red. Now we're going to do the X motor cable, which is the shorter of the two. So again, pass the wires through underneath the left hand X support block and bring through some of the spiral wrap. We're going to connect this to the remaining four terminals following the same sequence of coloured wires. So first it is yellow, then green, grey, and finally red. Finally, we're going to connect the servo lead, 
which has the black, red and white wires. Again, pass it underneath the support block and attach it to the right angled header on the iBot board. When attaching it to the header, make sure you press against the right hand side with your finger to stop the header from bending. The black wire should be to the front and the white wire should be to the rear. You can refer to the wiring diagram for more details. And that completes the wiring of the iBot board.